I had an 11 month old baby. Something super freaky that I want to tell you guys is that like, his replacement birth certificate was issued on my birthday, February 11th. And the year. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So Today is actually a really exciting day for me and Greg because it is our eight year anniversary. We've been together for eight years. So yes, me and Greg got together May 23rd, 2012 and today is May 23rd, 2020. It's a long time to be with someone, okay? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, so we thought we vlog it and tell you guys how we met and uh, journey from 2012 to now. So basically, uh, Greg and I met in the gym and he's so much better at telling the story. I'll tell you a bit about what was going on in my life at that time. So um, in, in my world in 2012, um, I had an 11 month old baby and I recently broke up with her dad when she was between six and nine months so um, at the time my world was like crumbling down to nothing because the person I thought I was gonna be with I'm no longer with and I have a baby and I'm like now I'm a single mom and you know, it's just those feelings of feeling of being lost and, you know, just not knowing what to do because I was so young at the time. Um, I was feeling really confused and my best friend at the time was just dragging me to come to the gym. She's like, why don't you just come work out and like stop playing um, like sad songs, like solemn songs or something like that. Is that what she said? Yeah, swear to goodness. And I really was, I, I really was. Like I would clean and play like back in the day, like Drew Hill or um, Jagged Edge or something like that. And she's like, like lift your spirits up, like come to the gym with me. And I would say, I would at the time I was saying no, I wouldn't come. But finally I decided to go and um, I felt good. Like I, I would go and just walk on the treadmill cause this is before all the fitness thing started, right? And I go and I would just follow her because her brother was a personal trainer at the time. So she kind of had a little bit of an idea of what to do. So I just follow her lead and it really all started from there. So I'm working out one day with a friend of mine and I just, I noticed her at the gym. I hadn't seen her there before. So it's a gym I had been at, um, how long? Nine years I've been at yeah. that gym when you came in. This is like 2000, was it? yeah, 2003. And so you you know all of the regular members and-, and You'll notice a newcomer. So, yeah, yeah, new face comes in, it, they stand out. And Chantel stood out because to me, she looked very athletic. She was tiny, but she had like an athletic physique to her. Um, just had that structure. And so in my mind, I'm like, wow, she has a perfect frame for figure competition. And I was a coach for competitors at the time, bikini, figure, bodybuilders, that's the kind of thing. Um, and I knew the the trainer she was working with. So I mentioned to him, um, hey, uh, that girl that you're, you're training today, what's the deal there? Is she like, do you track or something? He said, no man, she's a like fairly new mom just trying to get back in shape. I'm like, oh, I like, kind of wasn't expecting that because she didn't. You wouldn't know she had a baby. Can like, I just say like one mom, thing? It's tiny, just, athletic. I just felt like I was just super skinny. Like, I got that all the time. Like, do you run track? Like, what is it that you do? But I never had muscle tone. I just kind of was really slender and had a little bit of shape. And Nothing compared to what I look like now. I'm going to have to show you But the frame is still there. Like, the bone structure is still there. So somebody 
who understands fair. would recognize okay, that. Okay, fair. Fair. Anyway, I had just mentioned to him that she had the perfect build or foundation for um, figure competitions. If it's every, anything she would be interested in. And that was it. He's like, oh, cool. Pass it on. But then he, I thought you saw me another time when you were training with a friend. I did. I'm doing the abbrevi abbreviated version. Okay. What there was like a small interaction where I was doing box jumps and it's a high box, like probably higher than the counter. And I was well over 200 pounds at the time, 210 or so, because of like the way I would carry. Um, and when I do my box jumps, my goal is to be as silent as possible so you don't hear my, me stumping on the box or on the floor. And the trainer made a comment about how quiet I was. I said, like a kitten. I think you heard light as a kitten or something like that. Anyway, she was there when that interaction took place. So that was, it made her laugh. And it, there was, you could, there was something in that interaction for me anyway. Yeah, you know what, as I say it, I remember seeing you do that, and when you said it, like, I looked over, and I'm like, oh, he's kind of cute. All right. That was like it. <laughs> and then, the next day, was it the next day? It or might day have been. Later? It was, anyways, like, the day after I had that, I spoke to the trainer, um, she approached me at the gym, said, hey, he told me, you had mentioned, I do well at figure, it's like, I'd like to put some muscle on, what does that entail? And, um... I was busy at the time, but I'm like, you know what, let's um, set up a time we can sit down and chat, and we did, and here we are. Yeah, and it all <laughs> became, and then it became like, we had Blackberries at the time, so we would Oh my like, god. So we would like, text each other, <laughs> like, we would stay up all night just texting each other, like, what's your favorite color, what do you like to eat, like, just getting to know each other, and I have to tell you, like... It's like the honeymoon phase, right? You're getting to know someone. They give you the butterflies. You can't wait till the next day to speak to um, the person. That's kind of how I felt. We would stay up, and it would be like a conversation that would go back and forth, back and forth. And he'd be like waiting for the reply. <laughs> she would fall asleep holding the phone. And so <laughs> she would leave me hanging. And I, I would be like, <laughs> so I'd ask a question or something. And after, like, it just these conversations. You can see, even see the time. It's oh like back God. and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then it just stops and she doesn't reply. And I'm like... What did I do? What did I say? Because I don't know her well enough to know what's going on. And then the next morning, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry I fell asleep. I'm like, who just, you can't fall asleep instantly. It was like a guys, minute prior to you. Guys, let me just put it out there. Like, as I'm texting, I'm sleepy. So I'm like texting, I'm like, one more, one more. And then I got to tell him I have to go to bed. And I'll keep saying that because then another text, he'll text me, would wake me up for like five minutes. And then I would text him and I'm like, oh, I should just say it now that I'm falling this. asleep. And then... It would never get to the point where I was able to tell him because I just passed out. Like, I was just so tired. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. So it wasn't until <laughs> we actually started, like, I'm just going to jump ahead for a minute. Yeah. So, because I, I can't remember the time frame when we actually end up staying over night with each other, um, that she would fall asleep that fast. And it's 100% legit. I'm like, oh my God, she actually does. <laughs> she could be fully talking to you. She would be doing something on the phone. And then you look over, you're like, Chantel, Chantel. And she's passed out, phone's like... Like drooling or whatever. Oh <laughs> my god, you're gonna pull one of those. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, she can knock out that fast and she's tired. So, yeah, it was so, legit. Yeah. So that's kind of how we met. What was going on in your life at that time? You recently because just went through a breakup as well. The breakup was a year, a year and a half, but we had a son together, and so that we still had like the constant communication. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize that. The relationship I was trying to keep with my son's mom was really just having a heavy weight on me. Mm -hmm. And I, I didn't realize how significantly until I got to meet somebody else and then it was like a, a life changer. Like seriously, so anybody who knows, that, that point in my life in, in 2012, um, anybody who knew me before then and after then would say I'm a completely different person. Oh, 100%. I hear that all the time. And I'm like so happy to hear that. Like it's important to be happy. Uh, I must say, we met before, um, obviously May 23rd. That was just the official date. We met, oh, we yeah, met yeah. sometime in April, like the end of April. Yeah, we just said. End of April, or maybe or... yeah, or maybe it was, might have been even the beginning of May. But we were talking for some time before we made it official. When we were dating, there was this. I woke up one morning, and I had had the best sleep ever. We weren't like, a, this is me sleeping alone at home, but we had been talking and I, I guess I, that's when I felt 
the change in direction. That's when I changed an aspect of my life that I physically changed also. I was a, a nursing student. So I was in my second year slash third year. I had come from another school with transfer credit, so it put me up a year and also kept me um, back a year. So I was a second year nursing student. Um, and I was taking that summer off and looking forward to going to school in September. And I was I remember asking Greg, like, what are you gonna do with your plans? Like, you know, are you gonna be a personal trainer for the rest of your life? And he's like, no, I thought about being a paramedic. And um, this is when I realized like he was super intelligent and he was so driven. Um, that year we met, he enrolled in school and took, um, it's like a general arts and science. It's called emergency service fundamentals. He took it right away. Um, we're students, we're, like I had nothing at the time. I was living at home with my mom and my 11 month old baby, um, Amaya. And uh, he just jumped right into it and uh, we were going to school together. So I thought that was really, really cute. Like September came and we were at school together and I was doing my nursing thing and he was just getting into his paramedic thing. And I graduated um, a year before he did. I had my degree, he had his diploma. And it was like, we were kind of going down that path together. Like we really liked the same type of healthcare things. So um, I found that we really clicked in that aspect, which was really cute because you don't typically meet someone. Like, I mean, I've been in other relationships and it's like, the hardest part is like when you're progressing, but your partner's not, or they don't want to progress, or they're not doing anything. It becomes more powerful and more motivational when two people that have drive just power through things. Because then you just watch the girl. Because where we started, man, like, guys, it's like a whole nother vlog. And y'all comment below and let me know if you'd like to hear. Because I can, I we can go way back in into the day um, and, and elaborate on a lot of these things. Um, but we really started from nothing, me and Greg, like taking the bus together to <laughs> buying it's our true. first cars. Yeah, to I, did, I didn't have a car. Rental rental units oh my goodness. to government Yeah, we've been units. through a lot. <laughs> we've gone through so much together. So um, we want to keep it 100% real with you guys. We're together. Our official date we said is May 23rd, 2012. And you're a skinny little thing. Oh my gosh. And you think you don't look like anybody who exercises or anything. No, because how much did I weigh? 106 pounds. I thought it was 110. And it was a year that we were together before she actually started taking training seriously, like working out. So she wasn't, even me who, like that's just my lifestyle. And I like to think that me living that lifestyle Influence. Rubbed off on yeah, her. and I remember um, a memory of us when we first met, like one of our first dates, where um, I, we were at Ajax Lake. We we're just walking, oh, yeah, holding yeah. hands, and at the time, like I didn't even, it didn't sink into me that Greg was a big guy. I just saw him, and I'm like, oh, he's cute, and I didn't really take any notice of, notice of him. I'm like, I have to see him again. Anyways, we're walking down Ajax Lake, and then we're holding hands, and then I see my shadow, and then I see his shadow, and I'm like, he's actually a pretty big guy. Like, it, it didn't even sink in to that moment on one of those dates that I'm like, wow, he actually is a pretty big guy. Um, but that was one of our first dates. So we have some interesting questions. Um that we kind of just did a Google search. Um, we don't ask each other this every day, so a lot of it is just gonna be kind of on the spot. So it'll be interesting for you guys to see and for me and Greg to kind of uh, hear what we both have to say. So question one, what was your favorite memory last year? What was your favorite memory of us last year? So I have to think what last year was like. Smokes, last year was what, 2019? Ooh, so what was I doing? Oh, I, I know, I year. know. Okay, I know. All right, yeah, jog my memory. Okay, so so basically, yeah, it was just building our business, coming down with a plan, like how are we gonna do it? How are we gonna make it happen? And taking action. But I never actually took the step to do anything. And last year, I took multiple steps to get things going. And I think as a team, chilling with our friend, um, we had a lot of growth nights. It was one of my best memories. A lot of laughter, a lot oh, of so fun, funny. a lot of growth. And um, yeah, it was an amazing time. Okay. 
sidetrack for a second. This one is like photo crazy. Basically, if you want a picture from an event that took place in how far back do you go? Nine years? Twenty eight from when we met. I even have twenty. Yeah, you have stuff from 11. before us though. Yeah. Right. She can go find it within like five minutes. <laughs> it's that organized. So I would have to go back to the 2019 one <laughs> to actually recall a specific event. Um, but yeah, because it was multiple, like we were saying, like growth nights where we get together and we just put our minds together. And Literally. then the thing is like, we would have that night on a Friday night and have friends come over, we're all talking and it's like business stuff and what about this and just have bouncing ideas off of each other. And then her and I get to, over the next week, we're sort of implementing that stuff and building off of it until bringing new ideas to the next one. So we grew a lot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah and we still are growing. And it, well, it brought us here. For sure. Because, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> this probably part of that. What was a date that we had set that didn't work out quite well? What was a date that didn't work out? Like a date? It's, or a time or something that we were going to look forward Have to. Have we been on a date, just we, you and I, and yeah. it didn't work out like something was off with it? No, but this is my take on the shake. Yes, I say take on the shake. He doesn't like it, but I say take on the shake. This is my take on the shake. <laughs> we planned this year, May, to travel together. We've never gone anywhere together. We've always just so been true. where we're where we are in the city together. That works. And we finally planned, like literally put money aside and planned that we were gonna go down to Atlanta for a week. For a week and Corona happened. Every single winter, I have to deal with her. Like as soon as it starts getting cold, she's like, this is BS. We have to move. I am not living in these I cold I hate winters. the cold. Guys, I had today, what was the temperature so like, today? Allow me to finish. What was the temperature today? 20. I had the uh, seat warmer on. I just like to feel comfortable and warm all the time. I don't know. Does anyone else ever feel like that or is it just me? She just wants to be somewhere warmer. When was a time that we didn't work so well together as a couple? I think that was back back during the time I was in school. I became an RN and then went right into doing my master's. 2015 to that 2016 year I think was hard. Like two, two kids, four years apart. Um, Amaya's now in school, so having to keep up with Amaya's schoolwork and packing lunches because I never had to pack a lunch for her. She'd go to daycare and it's, everything was prepared for her. And just getting onto a routine um, was a difficult transition for me at that time. I was really looking for a hospital job. I had started out at a hospital job an hour away from home where there was times where I stayed where I was close to the hospital because after night shift I could not drive an hour back home to be with the kids. Oh, right. um, so I wasn't very happy but I was doing it to get the experience because I had a hookup at a hospital up north and um, I did it. I, I did it for like six months and then I said no more. Um, and I remember the masters doing that stressed me out and uh, I wasn't generating an income that I wanted. I was on um, government help. Um, I wasn't living in the best area. I was just trying to make it and, and Greg was still doing what he was doing. Um, but we weren't where we wanted to be. Those were rough times. Like those, I wasn't in a, a neighborhood that I wanted to be in. Um, I remember Amaya would always wake up with nightmares. Like she could not sleep for some reason. But you know how kids like feed off of your energy? I felt like, although like I didn't, I just didn't like the place. I didn't like where I was living. I'm like, Greg, I just can't wait to get out. Like, I just need to start making money. I need to get like a real job. I need to start working. And I thought, the more education and more degrees that I got, I'm gonna get a job. Like, I'm more marketable. No, it didn't work that way. I went for That's like, what people think. and like, it doesn't you work. Go get the job. It right? doesn't work. And I, it, it sucked because I came out of school like a new grad and went into my master's and then tried to apply for jobs. I'm like, wait, you have like no bedside experience. Like, we're not gonna hire you. So I worked at a nursing home at the time. And then my first real job, um, I became a community nurse. It's just a stressful time. And it's just that part in your life it where was. you're trying to level up and you're you're going through a lot. So we've been together three years at that point. Like, no relationship you is- made it here if we didn't work. Like no relationship is perfect. Like yeah, me and Greg had our little squabbles, but nothing big. Like we've never ever broken up. Um, but I think the time where we didn't work so well, where a lot of the stress came, 
was from school and the lack of communication, not so much on his part, I have to take this on for myself, like it was more me and more um, like I was just probably like immature back then, but I've grown a lot since. So our communication, my communication with him is much better, but he is just such an amazing individual. He's so patient and so loving and so kind and gentle that he kind of just like waited for my attitude to mature and would just always kind of direct me in like the best way to looking at things. But that's yeah. when it didn't work well. It's just the way of shutting down. I did. You just go quiet. When something bothers you, go quiet. And it took a while to get to the point where I'm like, you just got to talk, man. We got to sort it so we can move on. It's funny because the hospital she's talking about driving up north for is the where I ended up doing my paramedic placement. He's just not mad because I didn't stay long enough so that when he did placement and got and went to that same hospital, we couldn't look guys. Yeah. It would have been nice. She would have been working yeah. in the ER where I'm, anyways. Bringing patients. But wherever yeah. I'm going <laughs> with this is, my preceptor was like, hey, have you checked your blood pressure yet? Because, you know, it's ridiculous when you're in school. And I was in the phase right at the end where I'm having to do my ride out. So you have to do, take every shift that you can with your preceptors that doesn't conflict with the school schedule, which is still two classes a week, which you still have assignments for. And I'm keeping my job at the same time. So I'm trying to juggle my job, school, and the placement with the paramedics. So That's a lot. Anyways, my <laughs> blood pressure. I was like 150 over 96 or something like that. Damn. Which, yeah, that's... Hypertensive. Yeah. And so the, the triage is like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? Why is your blood pressure so high? Preceptors are laughing. Like, this is normal for a paramedic student. I'm sure it's normal <laughs> for most students. I'm not gonna, just going to say paramedic. My situation was stressful, but what I see everybody else dealing with yeah, at that level in school, it's, it's, tough. it's not yeah. physically healthy. Man. <laughs> but, but getting a job then was something else. Like, Greg has still not been able to obtain... Um, employment with the city as a paramedic and he graduated five years ago so it's like he hasn't been using those skills and perhaps like um in life there's there's something else that's his calling rather than that but he's such a smart individual and um i can say honestly i learned so much from the program yeah. because i already had the fitness nutrition background working as a personal trainer and i've been a nutritionist for seven years um what i learned in the program just made me so much better at, at what I do. How have we grown? Oh man, almost half of what, all we've been saying is like- That's how we have grown. <laughs> we started, like literally we didn't have anything. We were both starting from scratch. This is our house and like she was saying, we've been through- Apartments. We were, yeah, we didn't have cars. We were taking the bus together. Running for the bus, oh like that gosh. happened. Oh my taking the bus to get groceries. Oh we've gosh. done that. We have. We have. We use our school ID to get on the ID bus. School ID passes, yes. <laughs> Man, those oh, times. Oh, it was a crazy time. Yeah, so from then we, we have grown and we just continue to grow and you guys will watch us grow and grow with us, okay? Stick with us, because you can do it too. So on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you in life? I don't know if I can say it on a scale of one to 10. It's, it's am I a 10? Could I be happier? You know what, to be honest, if you're gonna throw a number at it, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm a 10, I'm super happy. Because there's things in life that I would like, and I would like that as well for the kids. So like, I mean, I want a bigger house. Um, I wanna be able to travel. I wanna be able to get the kids to experience new things. Um, that would make it a 10. However, life is, like, at the same time, I don't know if this is going to make sense, but life is a 10 because I have everything. Like, I'm so blessed. I have Greg. I have my kids with me during this time. We're trying things that we've never tried before, doing games, activities. Ryan's here. We're all together. And even in this really interesting time that we're in, we're growing. And I told my mom this um, yesterday. I spoke to my mom, and I'm like, Mom, I'm living my best life. Like, during these quarantine times, I've never been any happier so to place a number it's hard but at this time i'm happy and I, I really can't complain yes i'm gonna go with that yeah i can honestly say that this is the happiest i've been consistently for the longest period probably since i was a kid when we started doing um the activities and stuff with the kids i gotta say i was probably a drag she's like come on just suck it up and do it yeah Be part of the family this is the thing guys me and greg are so opposite and I'm sure you guys can tell but I'm bubbly happy going 
and he is just more quiet, calm, laid back, and just wants to do his own thing. Okay, so we're, we're completely opposite, but we understand each other so well, which makes us so compatible. Yeah, kind of buff for each other. Right? Yeah. I wouldn't change anything. Happy. I'm happy. Yeah, I'd say so too. So what have you stopped doing that you miss? What have we stopped doing that we miss? I miss going to the gym. And That's something we do all the time. And I think so it's no, great that I have a, a partner that we share that, uh, we call that joy. Yeah, it's, it's, like just, a, it's a common element. Like we just <laughs> share that. A you? really interesting question. What did you learn about me last year? It goes both ways. What did I learn about you? Chantelle is somebody who's very um, driven in that when she has an idea and she puts some focus into it, like it becomes 100% her thing. She all of a sudden puts all her attention to it and just goes. Um, so when you started your own business thing last year and it went serious, you put everything into it. It was a constant thing. And I'm like, I will be there and I will support you. And he was and every step of the way. I absolutely did, but I didn't realize, like, I'm like, so if she were to say, oh, I just don't have time for this right now, like, I'd be like, it's okay. <laughs> You'll get to it. But at the same time, like that really didn't happen. <laughs> That's what I think that was me almost hoping so I wouldn't get dragged to business meetings. Um, but Greg, I need you to come with me. You need to take Thursday morning off, uh, 11 o'clock, an appointment with Mississauga. I'm like, oh my god. Okay. Okay, this is the reason why <laughs> Greg has to go with me. Greg is so smart and intelligent. So I have to tag him along because if I tell him, hey, this is how the business meeting went, he's like, oh, did you find out this? I'm like, got to ask that. Like, he, he's just good. Sorry. Like, it's just with those things, like, it's important Greg's there. I, I couldn't do it on my own. I'm so grateful for him. Without you being there, I will miss a ton of things. I think it's just that we complement each other. What so, did I learn about you? Nothing. That I could be there and that's supportive in those situations. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, and that's what I learned about Greg. Like, and it just keeps getting better and better and better. And he's just, what I keep learning about Greg is that he's so knowledgeable. Yeah, there's random knowledge. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Knowledge is knowledge. And some of the stuff that he knows, I don't know. Like, I just don't. And what I what I learned about you, he loves to read, he loves to research. And intelligence is sexy. It really is. So if I ever have um, an issue or a problem and I bring it to him, he's honestly my answer. Like, he'll be like, okay, just think about this or talk to this person. Like, he always just knows how to help me navigate issues. This is almost a sidetrack thing, and I have to say it because you think of things that other people don't think of. For example, I'm going to bring up the package. The other day, because of this COVID thing, when you're looking for a delivery and it's not coming, you're like, just wait, just wait. And then your tracking goes missing. You're like, where's this item? Oh, give it another week. We're just backed up. This one over here is like, I'm going to try a completely different route, and one that I never would have thought of. She just called the warehouse directly. And the dude's like, yeah, it's here. And I went to pick up my package. Sure I, picked it up. <laughs> that, I didn't even know that that was a possibility. And I never would have. Because she had spoken to customer service three times. Guys, my package, package was late gone. for a week. Okay? And I ordered my package two weeks ago. <laughs> and I understand it takes time. Whatever. Then it was a week it. past their, it will be there by date. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I can take it no longer. No. <laughs> no. So, yeah. It's, it's interesting to watch. Because one of the things, I need this. I'm going to get it. And she will get it. I've seen that all through our relationship. But anything in her life, if she wants it, she gets it. You can actually go back to a vlog where I actually say that. I'm like, whatever I want, I get it. Where did I say that? I don't know. I don't think it's another girl. I definitely think it's a boy. And Shanta always gets what she wants. <laughs> always. Okay? Sure. But there was like every car she's had, and it's been annoying. <laughs> I need... an. A 2008 white Honda Civic four-door with a sunroof, and it has to have these features. That's another thing. But she got it. <laughs> I'm going to drive to Toko for it. But I got it. <laughs> but it's that kind of thing. Yeah. What was the most embarrassing time as a couple? Most embarrassing moment as a couple? Have we had one? The only one that I can think of is when Greg and I were super new. We were going to um, Safari, which is like a lounge. Oh bar my and gosh! Grill. 
That's on me. That's not our. Is that a, is that, is but a we went as a group. We went together. No, it wasn't just together. We just had other, us. yeah, friends. So basically, the only moment we're bringing up is from one when we were like just seeing each other at the beginning of our relationship. Yeah, like we're, we're super new. And so anyways, we're going to safari. It's a group of us, like say a group of six. I can't really remember, but I know it's a group of us. And we get to the door and the bouncer asks for ID. So everyone shows ID. Greg doesn't have ID. And the bouncer wouldn't let us in. And Greg, Greg's like, he does this. He's like, he's like, like, yeah, come, come on, on like, look like, at me, like, dude. Do I look under 18? He didn't let us in. He didn't let us in. So did we turn around, go back to get your yeah, ID? Yeah, we come went back and got the ID. Horrible. Oh, 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 yeah. And then the bouncer's like, oh, yeah, like, now I'm just doing my job. Like, oh, shit. Like, n- okay. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing because we came as a group. Not only that, I think the ladies in her group was a little overdressed for that scenery, too. But it was just a whole ordeal that night. Like, you didn't have your ID, we had to turn around, and it was a little embarrassing that the bouncer wouldn't let you in. That picture is from that night or that time. Yeah, Isn't it is. It? Yeah. So we can throw up the picture. Yeah. yeah. I, it, that was the only embarrassing moment that I can remember. Other than that, I don't think we've had one. Have we? Other than that? That's no, like, but we don't get embarrassed. Because no. that's what I think, too. Because we know how to act. I can laugh at myself. Yeah, me too. I, I don't, don't take anything personally yeah. like that. I'm trying to think of something else. Unless I blocked it out because it was that bad. Yeah, but his memory isn't so good anyways to begin with. I have, I have a fantastic memory for things. You want to have a fantastic have memory fantastic for. Memory. But I will remember like the most random things. I'm, and I'm easy to let go of things and move on. Literally. Like, yeah. I live now. Okay, fair enough. Unfortunately, there's people in my life that are <laughs> get disappointed that I do. <laughs> oh, it's so embarrassing. That's oh, embarrassing. There you go, there you go. That's so embarrassing. I, but I'm not embarrassed by it. That guy at Toronto Pro that jumped on you and was like, hey. Oh, shoot. But I wasn't embarrassing <laughs> for me. It's probably embarrassing for him. Because he didn't remember. I'm He's sorry, like, man. Hey, Landry, I'm sorry. I remember you now. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyway. I think I've seen him since. It's still just... I'm like, is that him? Greg, <laughs> like, Greg is that? so rude. Greg will see your face, talk to you, have a combo, go for lunch, and then if you don't, you know, or if you're not in his world within like a three month time frame, and you're you you leave, he will forget you. Like he will never I remember. Don't do it. He will not. He, he, he. I know a lot of people. Come on, I work in. I, it's not like you work in an office. You know the people in your office. I'm across multiple gyms with in that industry and there's a whole lot of people and these aren't like little gyms these are huge gyms with thousands of members that's true fair I don't know if that's an excuse fair. or not <laughs> but I'm using it <laughs> so. what was the most fun moment we had together the most fun moment we had together we have, we so, have many. so many. Yeah. We'll have nights where we've got each other laughing so hard. But there's just so many. We just have conversations <laughs> and we sort of feed off of each other that they turn into jokes that's probably just funny between us. Really? Because I have a, like, guys, I have a weird sense of humor. Greg and I humor, no, it's totally different. I like employee of the month humor. He likes... I like the <laughs> 21 Jump Street. Or he likes Big Bang Theory type humor. Something. You know, Farrell and Mark Wahlberg. I love those ones. Daddy's Home? The other guys. Daddy's Home. Okay. Fantastic. Those movies make me laugh. Yeah. And the blended families, you can just kind of relate. <laughs> yeah, really. Really, honestly. Okay, so pretty much that's it. Um, I'm just going to end it with overall, um, what's Greg like? And I kind of said it throughout, but Greg is an amazing guy. And anyone that meets him will tell you that. He is so humble. He's so positive. He looks big and scary, and yes, he can be when he needs to be, but really, to me and his family, he is like a gentle teddy bear. Um, He has a wealth of knowledge, like he's so smart, and I think what I look forward to is the growth in the relationship, and those nights where we just talk forever about things, like we can just talk about ideas and what we want to do, and we're just sitting there, the TV's not even on, and we're just like together like the best is yet to come and um greg is a really great guy he's so patient he's so kind he loves the kids he's such a great dad um he takes care of amaya like his own like it's amazing a friend saw him because 
when I had to go to work or I was doing school, I can't remember, but Greg would have to drop Amaya off to school. A friend saw him at the, the school gate and she texted me, she's like, you have an amazing guy. Like I saw him dropping Amaya off to school and he's just putting her hair up in a ponytail. And I think at the time Amaya was like in senior kindergarten or something. And this is something I can totally see Greg doing because this is what he does. And he'll just do it and not think anything of it. But it's just his genuineness, his natural love for me, Amaya, like the whole family, his kids. Um, he's a go-getter. If I present an idea, he always helps me take it to the next level. Um, for example, the white challenge. <coughs> Um, it was all Greg's idea with the skeleton face, um, but I mean, he, he just always, he, he always knows how to, to bring me up and I have grown so much of a, so much as a person because of you. And, um, I tell you every day that like, I love you so much. <laughs> um, and I just don't know how I would have made it this far without you because like, Greg plays such an important piece in my life and he is truly my soulmate and he's someone that every day is like the first day I met him. Like I get those butterflies, I can stare at this guy forever, I can listen to him talk forever. Something super freaky that I want to tell you guys is that like his replacement birth certificate was issued on my birthday, February 11th. And the year. And the year. <laughs> And I'm like, holy Yeah, God. what are the chances of that? That's a, that's pretty random. I guess one like, 365. Yeah, like I just totally <laughs> feel like we were meant to be together. And every day it feels right. There's not a day that goes by where it, it never felt right. Like, overall, who Chantel? Man, Chantel, Chantel is crazy. She's got so much energy. Man, and when she gets going, she gets going. And she'll get these kids worked up. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's one of the things I actually find so attractive about her is her drive because she's so motivated and when she wants to do something, it's going to get done and he just, and I have to, because she'll start worrying about the what ifs around whatever that is and it's my job just to like, Chantal, it's you, it's going to get done. It always gets done and show her all the stuff that's got done, it's got us where we are, it's going to get done. Um, but yeah, she'll keep working towards anything, but she does that in all aspects of her life. So as my partner, as a mother to the kids, like she's amazing and she does everything like 100%. I feel the, the same way, like every time I see her, like she's the woman that gets my attention. So when I, she walks into the room, I'm like smile, like seeing her for the first time. Um, and I still remember those same feelings from when the way she would look at me when we were just dating in the beginning in the way that would make me feel and I still get that like, yeah like before we met I didn't even get into that I had this sort of ideal in my mind and I knew that in the time in I'll have that and I just let it be and then she is that 100% Aww. she's my ideal partner and it's not yeah I mean it's pretty crazy Eight years journey from 2012 to now. Um, yeah, so it's all we got. It's all we got. And you will be seeing more of us and the family. So please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we don't want you to miss a thing. Thank you guys for coming and listening to our story. <laughs> See you guys later. Check, 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 check.